Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be sharing three different looks using the carnival palette. So if you wanna see how I achieve these looks, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so for this first look, I am starting off with my eye base. I'm using the ABH eye primer and I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques sponge. And my sponge just dries just so I don't add any moisture to the base. Once that is all blended out, we are gonna jump right into our palette. I am first gonna go in the color Ginger, which is a warm toned brown with a little bit of orange in it. And I'm just placing that in the inner corner with this little pencil brush. I'm gonna do the same for the outer corner and with the same brush, placing that in the outer corner of the eye. And the shape I'm trying to create is that halo eye look. So I am placing all my shadows in the inner and outer part of my eye and I'm leaving the center of the eyelid bare just so I can bring a shimmer there later on and that's gonna really make the eye shape pop. Right above my first shade, I am gonna go in with the shade called Mango, which is a bright orange shade and I am placing that just a little bit on top of my first brown shade. And this is really gonna bring a little bit more of warmth and that orange tone that I'm looking for into the eye look. And after that, I'm using a clean fluffy brush to start blending out all the edges of those two colors. Well, now I want to create a little bit more of depth into the eye, so I am taking a little bit of sundown mixed with chili pepper, so the deepest orange and a deep red shade, and keeping that really low under the crease, but in the same shape, so in the outer and outer corner of the eye. With the same pencil brush that I used in the beginning, I am gonna start blending out the edges, just so everything looks soft and really blended out. Now I'm using this NYX Glitter Glue Primer to prime my eyelids for the next shimmer shadow that I'm gonna use. And I'm just applying that in the center of my lid with a synthetic flat brush. And after I've applied that with the brush, I am also gonna blend it out with my fingers, just so the edges are not as harsh. So for the center of the eyelid, I am using a shimmer and it's called Rum, a kind of copper with some gold reflex shimmer is very pretty so i've used my fingers to apply this on the center of my eye until i am happy with how it's looking okay so let's finish up this look the next shade i'm gonna go in it's called black beach and it's the black color in the palette and i am just placing that really really close to the lash line on my outer corner and my inner corners just to really make those corners pop and create depth so i'm kind of using a tiny tiny brush to bring those colors and i'm not really blending them i'm just tapping them right there once i am happy with the black shade i am actually going back into the lid and i am using this bh liquid shadow and it's called gel bell and it's really like a shimmer gold liquid and i'm placing that on top of the shimmer shade so really in the middle middle of the eye and then I am gonna start doing the lower lash line. I'm just taking all the same shades that I used on my lid. So the oranges and a little bit of the black and just running them through the lash line. Nothing too complicated, just smoking that out just as I did on the upper lid. And that is the finished look. This beautiful spotlight eye with oranges and some gold shadows. I think this turned out very, very pretty. I really like this look. Now let's move on to our second look. So for the second look, I really wanted to play with the green shades, so it's gonna be very green. <laughs> I am first priming my eyes again with the P. Louise base this time. And I am again blending that out with a little sponge until it's looking very opaque and ready to apply shadows. The first eyeshadow that I'm using, it's called Bamboo, and it's kind of a pukey green shade. <laughs> and I am tapping that all over my crease with a flat brush following the shape of my crease to blend that bamboo shade out i'm taking the neon green shade in the palette and that one is called key lime and i'm using a really skinny fluffy brush to blend that out 
and you can barely see this color because it's so like pastel neon but it's the perfect shade to really blend out a green shade if that makes any sense I am taking the shade called Kaki in the palette and it's a brown toned green shade so it has a little bit of yellow in it I think which makes it look a little bit greener and again I am just taking that in the crease with the same flat brush and applying that to create a little bit more of depth and once I've applied that I'm taking again the little fluffy brush to blend out the edges now I am also applying that Kaki shade on the outer corners just because it was looking very empty and I want to create like a wing shape that goes outwards so that's what I'm doing here just applying that shadow and bring it connecting it to the crease after I'm done doing that I am taking the shade called bamboo again which is a bright green shade and I am applying that all over my eyelid so I wanted this look to be even more green so I, I am taking the shade called tropics and it's a really a forest green shade and i am placing that in the outer corners of my eyes and just keeping it there just to create a little bit more of depth i feel like i say depth a lot in this video but that's really just the way to go with eye looks really and once i am happy with that forest green shade i am taking again my bamboo shade which is the bright green and tapping that on the edges of that darker green just to blend everything together now i've done this eyeliner look and i didn't film it because it's just not not part of the tutorial but i'm applying some glitter liner over my liquid black liner just because the look was so matte i wanted to bring a little bit more of sparkle to it and i'm also applying some glitter and this one is from nyx and it's called ice i think it's a white glitter with some green reflect to it and I am just applying that on the inner corners of my eye, so really in the tear duct, with a fluffy brush. And that is it, you guys. I just applied some lashes from Huda Beauty, and the look is finished. This was very pretty. I never play with greens, and this was really, really fun. So, yeah, let's move on to the third and last look. So, I've saved the most colorful and more fun look for last so i'm really excited about this one again i am priming my eyes just like i did before and this time again i am using the abh eye primer the same routine just blending that out and then i'm gonna move on straight to my first shade that i'm gonna apply in my crease and that one is called pink lily and it's the hot pink in the palette and i'm using a really tiny brush because i want to have a lot of precision to really create a rounder shape in my crease and with this one i am really taking my time to apply that shadow in little sections instead of going in and fluffing that all over my crease just because hot pinks are really hard to blend in my opinion after i've created a hot pink crease i am gonna deepen up the crease with the shade called magenta with which is just a deeper hot pink with a little bit of purple in it and running that to the crease to create a little bit more of depth again <laughs> to blend out the pink shade i am dipping into the deep orange shade called sound down in the palette and i am applying that all over the crease just above the pink shade and i'm first applying that with a tiny brush and once i am happy with how the pigment is looking i am taking a clean fluffy brush and blending out the edges of that orange shade so now i am dipping into the yellow shade of the palette and i am applying that with a fluffy brush just on the outer corners of my eyes so blending out that orange but only on the outer part and i am kind of blending that out to my temples so this yellow shade is just really gonna pop out of here i'm not bringing that anywhere else so now i am going back into pink lily which is the hot pink shade and i'm actually using that as a type of base for my next shade because i am gonna go in to the color called pearl which is a sparkly sparkly shimmer pink shade and because i have that hot pink base that's really gonna help it pop more 
Now I am taking a little bit of my base and I am placing that in the inner tear duct of my eye because I want to create a little bit more of contrast. So I am going to go in with the color called Reef, which is a pastel kind of teal shade. And I am applying that right where I applied that base. And I think this kind of really finished off the look and made it, it made it really interesting and just a bit more than your average pink look. And again, I am going in with the pink shades and applying those on my lower lash line and that is the end of this look i applied some lashes again and the look is finished i think this one is so pretty i really love the pop of blue in it let me know which one was your favorite of the three looks i would love to know guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and i gave you a little bit of inspiration to play with some color don't forget to give me a little thumbs up so i know that you like these type of videos and i can create more videos for you and of course subscribe to my channel for weekly new makeup tutorials i will see you all next time bye bye